I still have the apple from the game because I want to eat healthy, but I'm holding off because I understand we're going to have healthy dessert. That's right. We are chocolate yes. cake. Marisa Churchill is known for her creating guilt for known for creating guilt-free but decadent desserts, and uh, she's an acclaimed pastry chef, a top chef alumni, and author of the cookbook Sweet and Skinny. And today she's going to do just that, so you boys can eat this. It's a good, healthy chocolate cake. You yeah. ready? I don't you know. Right? Find out the secret ingredient, though. Yeah, there's a know. secret ingredient there. in here. There okay. are, well, there are lots of secret ingredients, and this is something really easy that you can take these tips and use them beyond this recipe. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can do in the kitchen to make things lighter and healthier, sure. because a lot of times it sounds so complicated with desserts, but there's so many things that you can do. You can use reduced fat cream cheese in place of butter. It has a similar texture, performs similarly in baking, but with a fraction of the fat and calories. Greek yogurt, that one is one of my favorite, low in carbs, high in protein, great replacement for, probably, for heavy cream or even for oil and cakes. Now, before Lots we serve the cake, cake, we're going to do that right now so you boys can eat it while we're making this recipe. <clears throat> but there is a secret ingredient in it. Do you want to tell them now? Should tell I them? tell them? Well, why don't we serve it to them and you Let's taste it? Let's do that. And then we'll Let's see what that. you think yeah. of the secret ingredient. Yeah. So go ahead and taste we'll it. We don't say it's frog legs, right? <laughs> right. No, no. So that we shouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and take a bite <laughs> and let us know how you oh, how you like it. Like so um, now, so, you already said some of the things you substitute to make it healthy. Some of the things, yes. And now, one of the things that I love about this recipe as well is we're going to go ahead and mix it today in the KitchenAid since we have this fabulous right. stand mixer yes. here. But if you don't have a stand mixer at home, all you need is a big bowl and a whisk. Okay. So it's really easy. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to dump all of our dry ingredients in here, cocoa powder. So this rich chocolatey cake doesn't actually have any chocolate in it, just cocoa powder. Just cocoa powder? So high in wow. antioxidants. This has and no chocolate in it? So the, that's the important <laughs> thing. You want to get a really good quality cocoa powder because it's going to give it that really rich flavor so without all the fat and calories, just all the, the antioxidants. The cocoa powder has no fat? Is it no, no cocoa, cocoa powder. powder. Cocoa powder. Cocoa powder, powder. powder. no yeah. fat, yes. no sugar. Exactly. So oh, sugar-free cocoa powder, yes. Isn't that yeah. good? So we're just going to go ahead and dump all of that in there, mm. add in some sugar. Okay. What do you boys think? It's good. good. Isn't it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. The Our flour. <laughs> Baking powder, salt, a little baking soda. So and you're mixing then, the dry ingredients yeah, first? Yes, yes. We're going to mix these in here first. There we go. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and these then, are the wet. You yes, these are the wet. On, so I so we'll go that. ahead. Yes, well, we can go ahead and give this a little stir together. All right, so you want. have some sour cream here. So that is the oh, Greek yogurt. yogurt. Oh, yogurt. So this I'm is sorry. a cup oh, of Greek oh, yogurt. Now, one of the things I love about this is normally this recipe has an entire cup of oil in it. One cup of oil has 1,800 calories. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. You compare that to this, which is 150 calories plus about 20 grams of protein. Now, big difference. Yeah. Big saving. Huge. Sophie is going to like this. Sophie, yes. do you know what this is? These My are beets. Favorite. Beets. They're beets. Love them. Yes. So the beets so, are they going to go right in here where the yogurt they is? They are going to go right in there. Okay. Yeah. So now what I've done is I have replaced a half a cup of the sugar in this with with two thirds of a cup of grated raw beets. You can use boiled beets as well if you want. But this is going to add fiber and natural sugars. And you can't tell it's in the cake. Can you guys tell that there's beets in there? No. 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 It bakes right into the cake. Nobody knows. You don't have to tell the kids, your husband, your wife, whoever. They'll just They'll never know. So we put eggs in or yes. we put that in so, over there? Oh, yeah, we're going to throw it all in. So just a tiny bit of oil, one tablespoon, that's it. We'll throw in the eggs. Now, normally this recipe has four whole eggs in it. We're going to use two whole eggs and one egg white. Should we whisk it? <clears throat> um, yeah, I think yeah. that's a great idea. Okay. And again, because it's it's not bad to have some eggs in there, but each egg yolk has 250 milligrams of cholesterol, five grams of fat. So we've cut the, the cholesterol down from 1,000 milligrams to 500. So it's a good savings. All right, so and then go last go ahead. but not and least, our buttermilk. Buttermilk. There we go. We'll just give this a quick little stir. It's so uh, bizarre to think you could trade out, yeah. swap out the yogurt for the oil. You mm. can, though. Does It's really nice and yeah. moist, oh, isn't it? I mean, that's the thing. The, it the, 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 yes, it Black really is that moist. nice, yeah. great, moist texture. I also asked her, during, during rehearsal, I asked her if it's okay if we use coconut oil, too, oh. Sophie. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, you can yes. use coconut oil, which yeah. is wonderful. Coconut and chocolate, great combination. Me, yeah, go ahead. Throw it all in. Okay. Can you make these substitutions for any recipe? Sort of, Not just this cake, but if I wanted to substitute oil for Yes, so if you want wanted to substitute um, Greek yogurt for oil and say a carrot cake or any other cake, yes, you can do that. It's a great substitution. The reason I love the Greek yogurt is because it doesn't have a strong flavor. You don't want to be mm. tasting chocolate cake and get yogurt mm. taste at the end. Sure. And it's what's the perfect. what's the ratio? You said it's a, a cup of oil versus how much? A cup yogurt? of, a uh, woo! Is it yeah. one to one? 
Um, no, it's an equal swap. An okay. equal swap. Yeah. Swap. So it's easy. Oh, there we go. So we'll um, go after that's ready, we're going to put it in the cake got, pans. Yes, we've got our paper. two nine-inch cake pans right here, ready to go. And then. After we put them in here, we're going to bake them in the oven for how long? Bake we them in the oven for about that, 40. Yeah, we'll bake them in the oven for about 40 minutes. Okay. We'll just go ahead and put that in there if we want. Oh, let's see here. Do we have? And we have the finished product. Well, there we go. Let's are... just not and say we did. Yeah. Well, what you do is you're going to put it in the oven and bake it at, again at 350 50. degrees for about 40 minutes until you insert a knife into the center and it comes out clean. And we also have uh, on our Pinterest page also the recipe for this we'll beautiful frost decadent this. frosting. The frosting, frosting. Yeah, so the frosting, amazing. again, the really frosting, good. cocoa powder, no chocolate in there either. Three-fourths of the butter has been replaced with reduced fat cream cheese. So again, mm. simple swaps that make it, the key here is you got to find the sweet spot in the recipe. You don't want to take out all the fat and the calories. Sure. You want to find that magic magic spot so that you can't tell that anything's missing. This this cake, one slice has 280 calories. Normally it has 500. Mm -hmm. Who likes to like saving? So I can have likes to lick the spoon. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, nice. Likes go. to lick we'll the spoon. Across like the rest of this spoon. cake. This is of the chocolate icing. There you go. The icing's so phenomenal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that so good? Like that. All right.